We got it. Come on. Woo! Guru. Yes. Guru reward. Guru okay, reward. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do you guys get? Flat end hammer? It's all garbage. Oh, Ooh, shit. Go. Boomerang blade. Blade of order? Fuck yeah. Guys, guys, guys! We have to escape. We have to escape. Eight, five seconds. Five seconds. Alright, let's go, guys. Yes, all that was Gold, garbage. Gold, Gold, Gold. One thing that he said. Dude, it's that ruin hammer. I got the ruin hammer. Oh, well, God. we died, so. Hey, Those are all the way. We died, and you lost Gold. it. What's up, guys? I'm gonna show you how to farm for gold weapons in Dying Light's new DLC, Prison Heist. You need four players for this, and you also need to be playing on Nightmare Difficulty. It just works a lot better. I'll explain at the end. Now, we're going to be going for the Guru Reward, which means we need to complete this heist in under four minutes. Which means you need to be playing with the right people, and you also need a few items. First item you need is the Night Hunter Booster, which means you need the blueprint for that. And you get that by playing the zombie invasions. The first zombie invasions you play, you get the blueprint. Now, you need to have camouflage unlocked, or you need cloak potions. If you don't know how to get the cloak potions, uh, you get them by doing the missions for Dahlia, by the way. And that's a blueprint as well. But if you don't know anything about that, camouflage works just fine. We need lockpicks, and we also need flares. Now, this room needs to be cleared of all humans, which means each one of you needs to be assigned a level. I was ground floor while John was the left balcony and whoever was on the right. Doesn't matter as long as you get through there by the time the one minute mark shows up on the clock at the top of your screen. It's easy going, uh, just do as I'm doing. You need to practice going through here a few times um, just so you can get through it faster without getting confused. Now, weapons you need are the semi-automatic shotgun and a machete. The semi-automatic shotgun, hopefully you don't need the following to get, but you may need the following DLC. Now, this is the goon room. You don't need to kill any enemies except for the goon, of course, and you want your fastest lockpick guy on the door lockpicking. The semi-automatic shotgun, like I was saying, hopefully you don't need the following DLC, but back in the day, we needed the uh, following DLC just to get that brand new gun, but it was brand new back then anyways. So we didn't have this in the original game. Here is the volatile room. We need to be using the flares and camouflage or cloak potions here. Whoever's lockpicking the door needs the flare coverage and your friends need to be watching you and they need to be staying away from you as well because the spitters are going to be interrupting your lockpicking if they're spitting at your friends, um, which is why you're camouflaged. You want to be left alone by the virals as well. But uh, the volatiles will keep attacking you, which is why you need the flares. And it all works out as long as you have flares and camouflage. And that's that part. Anyways, right here, this elevator shaft, right before you jump outside to fight the final boss, you want to be at the 2 minute and 30 second mark, if possible, or uh, landing in that garbage at the 2 minute 45 mark, like I did. Right here in the yard, you want to be uh, assigned a corner. So I have this corner and, you know, other people have other corners or whatever. Actually, looking back at this, I could have been on top of that wall, you know, spawn killing these dudes, but I wasn't. There's two demolishers in here. The shotgun works really well to wipe them out. And once the first wave is done, you need to grapple up to this balcony. All four of you, there's four towers and you need to be spawn killing these guys um hopefully you can kill them like i was but usually one shot doesn't do it and you need to finish them off on the ground anyways and then the big boss somebody needs to make sure that guy's taken care of he's called sergeant something he's a huge demolisher but there you have it guru reward unlocked now this next part is why you need to be on nightmare difficulty because you want all the time in the world. On normal difficulty, you only get 30 seconds to go through the reward room, which is where you're going to be unlocking the Harlock chest. But, um, yeah, you want to be on Nightmare because you get 60 seconds instead, which means you can unlock all, I think it's eight chests, it might just be seven. Uh, but yeah, everybody can unlock all the chests, that way you get seven or eight gold weapons and seven or eight kings i'm pretty sure it's eight john said eight and uh he's good at math and stuff 
But yeah, guys, that's basically it. That's all there is to it. Just make sure you have the right players with you and make sure you have those items I mentioned, 900 boosters, camouflage, cloak, uh, you know, the lock picks, duh, and flares. And you want the semi-automatic shotgun. That's the most important. Hopefully you don't need the following anymore. Back in the day, it was a brand new weapon when the following first came out, but they may have changed it. But you want to be out of this room, by the way, before the clock runs out, or else you don't get any weapons. You don't get to keep any of the weapons, and that's that. And you might cry if you had a really hard time with it. But yeah, guys, um, if you do get the gold weapons, by the way, we had to come back to the slums to resupply on ammo. And the shotgun is so important that you do not want to go through that without having the maximum amount of ammo. And, um, that's all there is to this. I know a lot of people are going to be having trouble with this. I mean, this is only my second, maybe even third time playing this, but this is the first time we actually tried going for the Guru reward, and we got that pretty easily, but, um, I guess you could say we're adept players. You know, um, some people have big problems getting through the Bozak Horde, so I imagine, you know, people are going to have big problems finishing that before you can uh, get the Guru Award. So that's it, guys. John is putting out his own video. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be about. It's going to be about the Guru Reward, of course. So I'm going to leave a call to action. Just click on his video and uh, you can check out his video. That way, hopefully, you can be informed on things I didn't cover uh, well enough in my video. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.